Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. If you prefer to sit slightly raised on a block with your legs crossed, go ahead and do that. I prefer it, it keeps my spine a little bit more straight. I can bring my weight right over those hips. Whichever way you prefer to sit, guys, whether it's a cushion or a block, bring your legs cross-legged. The leg that you normally have in front is the one that you're used to. Bring the opposite foot in front. See what that does to the hips. See what that does to the knees. Maybe you feel some tightness in this leg. Let's begin with our hands facing down on our knees. Tuck your chin down, sitting nice and tall. Close your eyes and start to breathe in and out through your nose. Each time you inhale, think about sitting nice and tall. Maybe you're leaning forward slightly, bring the weight right back over those sit bones. Your chin is tucked down and you're growing tall from the crown of your head. You're not lifting the chin up. Keep your eyes closed and just listen to my guidance with your breath. As you inhale, find a little bit more length in the body. And as you exhale, just relax those shoulders down and start to become aware of your body, how it feels. Check in with your face, your shoulders. Feel the weight of your arms, hands gently resting on your knees. Eyes are still closed, guys. Mouth is closed and you're breathing in and out through your nose. Try to slow down the breath, filling the lungs, feeling them expand outwards, filling the belly and then slowly releasing that breath. Over three more, really nice, slow, relaxing breaths. Each time you exhale, the hands and the knees become heavier and you're straight over those sit bones. You're still sitting tall, you're not slouching. Couple more breaths there. First few poses will be to make that body breath connection. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I'm gonna keep mine closed because you will come back to closed eyes. Inhale, the arms reach up. As you exhale, you're following your breath. Your left hand goes to your right knee and you gently twist. Gently twist. Inhale, this is your inhalation, arms reach. And as you exhale, you gently twist. When you're ready guys, close the eyes again and start to move with your breath. So you have that inhalation, the arms come up and you have that exhalation, you gently twist. Go for about three on each side. Following your breath guys, your arms and body move as you breathe. You have the inhalation, arms up. You have the exhalation, you twist. The last couple rounds, try and Try to twist a little bit more. You got it, guys. Being really kind with ourselves, getting lost in this active meditation by keeping your attention just on your breath. On this last one, inhale, reach your arms back up into the sky. Bring your hands down into prayer. Sit tall, just take a breath or two here to see how nice it feels to just focus on nothing except your breath. This is you time, this is me time. We all have 30 minutes to ourselves, guys. Gently open your eyes, perfect. Bring yourself into a tabletop position. Move that brick out of the way if you are seated on one. Come into all fours. Today is about being gentle, guys, and just following the breath. Here, cat cow, this is your inhalation. This is your exhalation. Breathing in and out through your nose. Exhale, squeeze, exaggerate this. Inhale, look up. So you're moving as slow or as fast as your breath. We try to slow the breath down. As you inhale, you arch, you open up through the front side of the body. And as you exhale, like a cat, you curl your spine up. Go for about three or four more rounds. Make it a little bit bigger each time. You got it, guys. Let's go. Last one. And then find stillness in tabletop. Knees, about two fists between those knees. Hands right under the shoulders. From here. 
Inhale, lift your right arm to the sky. I'll mirror you guys. So right arm, inhale. Exhale, twist, head goes down, arm releases just for the breath. Hand goes down, inhale. Exhale, thread through. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hand down. Inhale. Exhale, thread. Inhale, opposite arm up. Exhale, hand goes down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Guys, just get lost in that rhythm. Go for two to three more on the side. As you can see, you're moving on an inhalation and an exhalation. If you mess it up, don't worry, just move. That's all I want. Nice and easy. Get a nice twist and opening through the body. One more. I'll move with you. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale, arm goes up. Exhale. Inhale, last one. And exhale, hand down. Left arm this time. Inhale, go ahead and pull in your fingertips up. Exhale, you thread. Each time you inhale, an arm lifts. Each time you exhale, a hand goes down. Check it out. Inhale, arm lifts, pull. Exhale, arm goes down. Inhale, the arm goes up. Exhale, hand goes down. Inhale, go up. Guys, go for about three or four more like that. If you have it, close your eyes. Mouth stays closed and you're moving with your breath. Maybe you are moving with that beat now. Let's go. Who doesn't love this song? Couple more. Perfect, guys. Being super slow, super easy on the body. You're following your breath now. Active meditation. Last one. Inhale. I'll move with you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Final reach. Hand comes down. Perfect. So you're still in that tabletop position, guys. From here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, through cat cow. Inhale up, tuck your toes. Exhale, push back. That is a little sequence. I'll do it again. First inhalation, lower. Look up. As you exhale, cat. Inhale to cow, push back to down dog. Again, follow your breath. Each time you inhale, you come down into cow. We're looking up. First exhalation, you round through cat. Inhale, second breath, cow. Exhale, a lot of animals. Push back. Down dog. So, when you're ready, close your eyes. Keep moving. Inhale, down to cow. First exhalation, into cats. Second inhalation, you go back into cow. And push those hips up. Go straight back into a down dog. Can you do it with eyes closed? Are you following your breath? Are you moving faster than your breath? Let's connect everything. Let's go. A couple more there. With your breath. One more. Last one. Stay in the down dog this time. Gently jog out those heels. Make your body feel long, guys. Palms wide. Press your hips up. From here, inhale to bend. Check it out. Exhale. Push. This is your inhalation. Inhale. Exhale. That's it, guys. You have your inhalation. You bend, come down. And as you exhale, you push the hips a little bit higher as the heels go down. Lengthening both sides of the body. You're a sharp V. Keep it going. Couple more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. And again. One more. Last one. Looking good, guys. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Widen those feet. Lift up the arches of your feet. Take some little twists here. So you can see I bring my hands to the side 
my foot. And other side, if you cannot reach the floor, you can take a block. If you have two, you can use both. Now watch this, guys. Try not to let your hips fall back. Bring the body forward. You want to try and get this nice, strong stretch in the back of the legs. And weight is more in your toes than your heels. You should immediately feel that stretch. Now soften everything. Gently roll up. Inhale. Exhale. We made it with standing. Tadasana. Mountain pose. Palms facing towards me. Listen to my instructions if you're ready, you can close your eyes. But otherwise, I just want you to lift up the arches of your feet. Bring the weight to those three corners of the foot. Heel, little toe, big toe. Palms open. Squeeze your glutes. Try not to arch the back, guys. Squeeze. Core is pulling up. And now when you're ready, close your eyes. Again, we're growing tall from the crown of our head. Tadasana, mountain pose, standing nice and tall. Place your hands to the outside of the ribs if you need. As you inhale, feel the ribs expanding outwards. Couple more breaths here. Noticing how light and tall the body feels. Looking good, guys. You got this. On that final breath, gently open your eyes. Excellent. Place your feet together. Inhale. Grab your right wrist. Exhale. Inhale. Other side. Exhale. So it's not a competition, guys. Each time you inhale, you go up. And as you exhale, you come across. If you want to keep it small today, that's fine. If you want to be a little bit more aggressive, really pull across. I'm going to be gentle today. Anybody else tired? All right, guys, keep it going. Remember, we've got a whole month together. So just take it easy. Try not to burn out. Inhale up. Exhale. So for three more on each side. Feeling the side body lengthen as you reach across. Inhale and exhale. Doing awesome, guys. Lengthening through the side of the body. On that last one, widen your feet and this time, ragdoll through the front and then open out. Perfect, that should feel fun. Ragdoll and up. Go for one more on each side. I think that feels fun. Mouth is full closed, open up. Go for one more in this direction. And then stay down in your rag doll. This is really nice. Just allow gravity and your breath and the comfort into your body to ease into this pose. Grab your elbows. This is a great little inversion and a really nice spinal stretch. Woo. Stay down, we've got a little bit of a free high there. So just see how everything starts to loosen up. We'll just stay there for about six more breaths. Head is down, heavy. Looking good, guys, stay. If you're holding those elbows, release your arms, soften the knees a little bit, also thighs and chest are connected. And now roll, lower back, middle back, Roll your shoulders at the top. Ooh, that feels super nice. If you want some water, guys, please grab some water. I'm going to keep moving. Feet together, hands in prayer. Inhale. Big length. Exhale. So you're going to swan dive down. Super slow. You're moving with your breath. Hands to the floor or on blocks if you need. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And again, guys, inhale, flat back. Come as high as you need. Weight in your toes. Exhale, fold. You have your inhalation. You rise up. Not looking up. Tuck your chin. This is moving as one. From hip to crown of the head. The inhalation, you rise up. Keep the weight in your toes. Exhale, bring everything forwards. Working on that forward fold. Five more breaths there, guys. Do not worry about how low you are going. 
Close your eyes and just make it about body and breath moving together. You got it guys. Couple more there. This should feel good. Body is lengthening. You're listening to your breath. You're moving as one. This is yoga guys. And then on that last one, hands to the floor or your bricks. And we're going to step back. Plank. Perfect. Inhale. Exhale, knees go down. Inhale and exhale, extend those arms. Gently rock those hips side to side. You got it, guys. Rising up, come into a tabletop again. Finding strength and balance from the floor so your right leg will extend. Left arm reaches. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, that's all it is. Keep going guys, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. Supporting hands, pressing the ground away, either on your fist or your palm, whatever feels good today. We're gonna add on, make it a little sequence. Nothing complicated. Inhale, first breath. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, second breath, you lengthen again. Exhale, bring it out to the side. Hand in line with your shoulder, foot in line with your hips. Back to the beginning, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Ex. Three more four rounds, guys. Moving at your own pace. Find the length on your inhalation. Squeeze the breath out as you exhale. As the arm and leg into the side, the hand is in line with your shoulder, so not too far back. Just turn around, take a look at it, see where it is. Leg is out to the side, trying to lift it a little bit higher. Go for one more round, just like this. You got it, and then release coming back through center. Let's go to the other side, you don't need to turn around. So this time, the left leg is straight. Hand under the shoulder, right arm reaches, inhale. Exhale. Ooh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's add on. Exhale. Inhale is always reaching. First exhalation is squeeze. Inhale again, left it. Exhale to the side. And again, guys, go for three or four more. You're following your breath. You're not going for speed. You're not going for rest. So just keep moving. You know what to do. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, first breath you squeeze. Second breath. Remember that hand is in line with the shoulder. Try not to let it go too far back. Watch your leg. Bring it even further. That one's going to want to stay back. Lift it a little bit high to the side. Go for one more full round wherever you are. You got it, guys. And then back through centre. Push yourself back through child's pose. Gently rock those hips. Reach those arms out. And rise up, tuck your toes, push back through down dog, walk to the front of your mat. So this is a nice gentle half the flow, feet together or hip distance, inhale flat back, exhale to fold, inhale rise, come all the way up, oh, and hands in prayer, that always feels so good, that stretch. Bring your hands to your hips, step one foot wide, facing this way, you can rotate your mats if you need, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, flat back, inhale, exhale, forward fold, so if you cannot reach the floor, I'll come sideways on, you can place your hands to a block, Watch your hips are not going back, guys. Bring it forward. You can come into a deeper forward fold that way. From here, guys, using your breath. Inhale to rise. Exhale to sink down. Inhale to lift. Exhale from deeper. That's all it is. When you feel comfortable, close your eyes. We're just going to repeat. Inhale to come up. Allowing time, gravity to help us out here. Exhale, keep forward, it's called a forward fold because you're forward folding. 
to bring the weight into your toes. Go for about three more breaths here. And on this last one, we're going to stay here. So, options, if you have got a nice forward, deep forward fold, you can bring your hands behind you and relax down. If you can reach the floor, you can bring your elbows all the way down here and you can try for your headstand, if you know what you're doing. I'm not there in person to assist you, but if you know how to do it, go ahead. Otherwise, if you're happy just holding those elbows and allowing your head to hang down, let's stay here for about five deep breaths. And each time you exhale, just visualize your head coming a little bit lower. You guys are doing really good today, so stay there. For three, two, hands down, walk your feet slightly closer, and roll up. Perfect. Feet closer, and release. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Perfect. Still nice and wide on your mat. Let's rotate. If you guys are mirroring me, let's bring our left foot out. Coming in to warrior two. So sink down. Bring your back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat. Front knee is pointing forward. Inhale. Ooh, that feels so good in that front leg. Exhale. Inhale. Rise. Exhale. Sink down. Right. Perfect. Just like that, guys. Following your breath. Yes, that front leg is going to start to fatigue. Just think about the breath. You've got your inhalation. You've got your exhalation. Inhale. If you find it hard to meditate, this is such a beautiful way to start a meditation practice if it's new to you. Reach up. Body is lengthening. We're stretching. We're strengthening. We're coming into the breath. And focused. Last one. Cartwheel your hands down to the inside. Square your hips. Perfect, guys. Gently rock side to side here. Walk your foot across. Lay down into pigeon. Inhale. Exhale. Same thing, guys, with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Move with a breath. Go for about five of these. Inhale up. Fall down. Open up a little bit more each time. Pigeon. Puff out that chest. You got it, guys. On this last one, stay low. You can bring your arms on top of each other and rest your forehead to the floor. You can even just put a cushion under your head. If you can't reach all the way down, just stay as high as you can, as you need. And just use your breath to come a little bit deep into the pose. Looking good, guys. Stay. Three. Two. Rise up. Perfect, guys. Rotate. This leg is straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hand goes down. Exhale, you lift. Inhale, to move. Exhale, to reach. Inhale, to move. Exhale, to lift. Beautiful, guys. Go back three more like that. Each time you inhale, you move. Each time you exhale, you squeeze across. And again, go for a couple more. Just find your own rhythm. You're moving with your breath. I cannot tell you the right speed to go because you are doing you right now. All right, go for one more just like that. Excellent. And then rotate. Place this direction to your front edge of your mat. Hug your knees in. Gently rock forwards and back. Crossing those legs. Hands go down and you step into plank. Walk yourself back. Soften your knees. Slowly roll up. Excellent. From here, we should be facing the right direction. 
Step your right foot forward, I'll mirror you guys. Coming into your warrior on this side. Back foot is parallel, knees pointing over his toes, arms are strong. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Arms are active. You have your inhalation and you have your exhalation. Reach. Exhale. Inhale, body goes tall, you press through that front heel. Arms are active. Go for about four more breaths, guys, that's it. Inhale, coming up to the last few minutes of our practice today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you were able to escape what's going on outside and inside your mind. Cartwheel your hands to the inside of that leg. Square those hips, nice stretch in the back of the leg before you drop that knee. Walk your foot across, squaring your hips down. You have your inhalation, up the chest. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. So go for about eight more reps there, guys, moving with your breath. Close the eyes, there isn't much to it, you can keep the eyes closed. Go for about four more, preparing yourself to lay down into this nice deep stretch. And when you're ready guys, come down, you can cross those arms, place the forehead to those arms. Square the hips, keep everything pointing straight. Think about a bird's eye view, your spine would be straight. I know that we're twisting here. But try and get everything aligned and you're going to get the deepest stretch you can from this pigeon pose. Don't be super aggressive today. Eyes are closed. Just let the body melt into the pose. Stay here. Plus three breaths. Two. Rise up and you just rotate so that front knee still stays bent. Inhale to move, exhale to reach, inhale to lift, exhale to rise up. Follow your breath, inhale, exhale. Try and keep the chest open, so I could just grab my foot this way, but I actually get a really deep stretch if I keep it up and everything pointing forward and being authentic about this pose rather than just trying to grab my foot. So you have your inhale, move. When you're ready, close your eyes. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. You got it, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Finishing off this session, guys. So just go for about three or four rounds on your own. See how much of a release that is through the side body as you lift across. Keep it going. A couple more. You're awesome, feeling graceful with your movements, feeling strong. And then on that last one, just cross your legs and bring yourself round to lay on your mat. Hug your knees in, gently rock forwards and backwards, giving the body a nice massage. And then from here, laying down, give your knees some rotations. Let's give a final release to those hips. Rotate the other way. If there's anything else you want to finish off with, you yogis out there, please go ahead and do that now before a very short Swasana. Grab your feet, happy baby here. If you've got anyone at home, don't let them take a picture of you in this position. I don't care how gorgeous you are, there is no one that looks good like this from up there. Give your legs a little stretch if that feels good. Feet down, little twist. Final bit of fidgeting out of the way. Extend your feet down. Quick savasana, guys. Palms facing up, rock side to side. Close your eyes. If you have a little bit longer, just stay here. Mouth is closed. Inhale and exhale through your nose. Feel the belly rise. Maybe place a palm onto your stomach. Finishing with this super relaxing belly breath. Inhale. 
and exhale, don't move, relax, stay still. The last 20, 30 seconds is all for you guys. Feel the body melt down into the ground. Avoid fidgeting. Feel the heaviness of the elbows, wrists. Heavy on the ground, the back of the legs making connection with your yoga mat. Soften the face muscles, relax the ears, the nose, the tongue, the mouth. Check in with the thumbs, toes, ankles, and release as you exhale. Please stay in your savasana if you have the time. Keep your eyes closed, otherwise everyone else, let's get ready to move, hug your knees in, gently rock over to one side, eyes can stay closed, you slowly press the body to come up to seated. Find yourself in any comfortable position, bringing your hands into prayer, and just sit here for about three breaths, checking in with the body. See how it feels compared to how when we started in the same position. Maybe you're tingling a little bit, maybe you're feeling super relaxed. Maybe you actually forgot about the outside world. Final breath to finish, inhale. Palms coming down to heart center. Open your eyes and namaste. See you tomorrow.